Hi there, this is John Hummel, you can call me Professor, and today I want to take a little look at the Gamefly beta. Now I'm going to be showing you a series of pictures about how it looks and how this works. The idea here is that Gamefly has, if I remember correctly, bought out Direct to Drive and are working on integrating that service in with the Gamefly system. So now you'll, you can download, if you're on the beta program, this application that runs on your PC or your Macintosh. It looks like you need a separate code for each PC that you use. So that's something I'm kind of like, hmm. Uh, but again, this is for the beta. We'll see if that changes. So when you first bring it up, it shows you your Gamefly account, if you have one. And then you can go through and start looking up games to rent and that kind of thing. And that's all okay. But what I'm really kind of curious about is I'd like to take a look at what you can download and buy. Now, if you click on the download section, for example, on the PC, you start to get a list of things that you can purchase. You see the little buy new there for Warhammer and buy new for Deus Ex. That's how you pronounce it, folks, by the way. Don't say deuce. It's Deus. Thank you. And there's also these free ones. They have a little infinity symbol. That's the sideways eight that shows up and tells you this is something that you can download for free. And uh, that's my phone in the background, so just ignore that. You can organize this in different ways. You can tell, all right, show these all these things by price, show me what's on sale, show me just the RPGs, you know, so on and so forth. It's kind of, you know, the thing you'd expect to see from a service like this. Now, you can also, if you scroll down, if you look down to where it says Unlimited PC Play, over there on the left-hand side, this is a list of everything you can just download and install. Now, if you used to use GameTap in the past, this is kind of similar. It shows you a cover list of everything. The game selection is not that great just yet. Granted, it is a beta, and I'd love it if they could get things up to the game tap level, where they had all those old games like Betrayal at Crondor, those old PC classics. Now, game tap had just a ton of stuff that they had running through emulators and the like. If Gamefly can do that, awesome. That'd be great. But for now, this is a it's a decent start. You know, you see a lot of the stuff here, Luxor. CSI hard evidence, and you know, stuff that um, you may not care about. Now, in my case, I decided to try out Velvet Assassin. I, I kind of like the sneaking games, and uh, no, I didn't go for this because you see the her velvet ass sitting there on the cover. But uh, you can go through and tell it, all right, download this. You can do the buy it completely, so this is a good way if you want to try a game and then buy it later, and then you can always cancel your Gamefly subscription service later on. So that's a nice little option there. Kind of like the idea. In fact, if they get a good library going here, I'd love it if I could do that with any game. Imagine trying out Warhammer 40,000 and going, oh, okay, I played through it, I'm kind of done. Or going, you know what, it's on sale right now, it's 30 bucks, I'm going to go and buy a copy and then I can always play it later on. So that's something that may give Gamefly an advantage over Steam and EA's Origin and whatnot. Uh, you can also see that you can organize these things in just a simple list if you don't want to see the box art, and then you can show it, show it all right, where's the, you know, what's the status of the download, so you've got, I've got these two, two games downloading right now. It seems to only do two at a time. Okay, that's fine. So in this case, it's Saints Row and Velvet Assassin. The download speed wasn't too bad. Uh, it did not feel as fast as, say, again, Steam. But as you can see, it's downloading about one megabit per second per game. Uh, that's not bad. And it, it didn't, once it was done, then you have to install it. That's the only thing I'm kind of like, Ugh. So I've got to download it, then you've got to install it, which is just clicking the Install Now button. Now, maybe there's a setting inside I didn't see. I prefer it if you would just download and just install. Do that in the background, that way I can turn on before I go to bed, for example, or before I go to work or something and say, oh, there's that game that I want to try, download it, take off, go do my stuff, have some lunch, come back, and it's installed, ready to go. In this case, you've got to click the Install Now button, which then it takes up the Gamefly screen, and it sits there and chugs away and installs, and you have to wait, wait, and you wait some more. This this seemed to take almost longer than the actual uh, download. I don't know, maybe it's just this game. At the end, it did give me an error, but I'm assuming that's just a Windows 7 kind of thing. But once that was done... I launched the game, it did an authentication process, this is something similar to what you'd see in, say, Steam or a, an EA Origin game or the like, where it's going to verify, all right, you got to check our DRM, make sure you're okay. And then I was off playing Velvet Assassin. So 
this is a pretty good startup. Again, I think the game library is pretty sparse. I noticed this morning there were more games being added, so that's, I think that's a good sign even here in the beta. Overall, it's got some potential. Again, if they could get to the game tab level stuff and include not just the new games, but all those old classic games too, uh, people will play them. You know, my kids, for example, they love playing the American McGee Grim games. And if, game, if Gamefly could just go out to game, the old game tab stuff and just buy their whole service if they can or make different deals, they've got some potential here. And at the $15 a month for renting one game and then getting this attached for free, and that one game is a console game, so I just sent back Shadows of the Damned and now I'm going to get back something else. So if I'm paying the $15 a month for one console-style game, whatever I want, and then limited PC games, doesn't sound too bad just yet. If they do like a PC only thing for say $10 a month, they can give the other folks some real competition. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. And if you have any questions, uh, send me an email. I'm at john.c.hummel at gmail.com. Till next time, class dismissed.